If you have ever been to a zoo, then you may have seen apes and chimpanzees. These animals are similar in shape and stature to humans and can often be seen sitting, walking, crawling, eating, and generally moving, just like people do. The similarities between them and us are astounding, and as scientists and researchers continue to investigate these resemblances, questions arise as to whether they can communicate like we do, and if these likenesses should be reasons to give them the same rights that human beings have. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three chimpanzee discoveries. Chimpanzees interacting just like humans Until recently, it was thought that only humans started and ended their interactions with each other with various forms of verbal and nonverbal communication. But, as it turns out, such motions have been seen in apes and chimps, animals considered to be our closest relatives, at least genealogically speaking. In a study that looked at 1,242 interactions between bonobos, which are a specific species of ape and chimpanzee, a team of researchers and scientists found that there were signals and cues sent between two individual animals wanting to interact or end an interaction with each other. When the two species were compared to each other, bonobos shared an entry signal and gaze about 90% of the time before an interaction, while chimpanzees did so 69% of the time. On the other hand, exiting signals were even more frequent, bonobos measuring at 92% versus chimpanzees measuring at 86%. It was observed that the apes would frequently gaze at each other and use gestures to initiate or end exchanges. Other common gestures including touching each other, holding hands, butting heads, or simply gazing at each other both before and after interactions such as grooming or play. Because these interactions are such that they allow for the creation and development of community, the understanding that chimpanzees and apes can communicate in this manner allows for the idea of what is referred to as joint commitment as a process, wherein human and animal intentions are shared and they work towards a common objective. Joint commitment as process means that an exchange of signals is necessary for potential participants to communicate and arrive at a mutual understanding that requires a commitment to a course of action that will be taken in order to reach a certain goal. And even something as seemingly basic as an initiation for the start or end of a conversation or interaction is a strong indicator that this can happen. If anything, the existence of this could mean that it does happen. This discovery is exciting because such actions were only ever thought to be conducted by humans. It also hints at the continuation of gathering further information on understanding the origin of these species, and because of the closeness of their DNA to ours, our own origins and history. Chimpanzees temporarily get human rights in April 2015, a New York Supreme Court justice temporarily gave two chimpanzees a writ to habeas corpus, the right to a day in court, something that has historically only ever been applied and applicable to humans. The backlash and shock was so much that by the next day, the judge had struck those words from her order and made a correction, so that though the chimpanzees still had representation in court, their so-called personhood was not left up to debate. While this might sound strange, the idea that chimpanzees might gain human rights is one that has been in the works for quite a while. A non-profit organization called the Non-Human Rights Project has been attempting to get chimps the right to personhood for many years, arguing in court and representing the animals in a movement that declares these animals should be seen as near equals to humans. The NHRP has fought in court for this because they argue that keeping chimps as pets or performers should be considered as unlawful and reprehensible as the inhumane detention of a human being. In fact, one of the long-term goals of NHRP is to get human rights for many different cognitively complex animals, including elephants, great apes, dolphins and whales. This particular case involved two chimpanzees, Hercules and Leo. 
that were being kept in a research lab at Stony Brook University. The case was brought on behalf of the two animals by NHRP, which claimed that the chimps were intelligent enough that they should be considered as having the same rights that humans do. This would also mean that their detention in the lab and research centre should be considered unlawful. The main aim of the NHRP was to have the two chimps released and sent to the Save the Chimps sanctuary in Florida. However, their endeavours have not necessarily always been successful, with one of their appeals being denied on the basis that the sanctuary would indeed just be another form of captivity for the animals. Still, ideas and attitudes around the standing of such animals is changing even on a larger scale around the world. In a different case, at the end of 2014, a court in Argentina declared that Sandra, an orangutan, was a non-human person and had been unjustly imprisoned at Buenos Aires Zoo. So, although the New York judge corrected the wording in her order which referred to the chimps as human, there are advancements being made in terms of how such animals are viewed and presented within different societies, which means that this will inevitably affect societies all over the world. All of these events bring up the consideration that has been on people's minds for a long time. Are animals equal to humans? Should they be given the same rights as us? While it seems like there is a long way to go in terms of answers, it's definitely something to think about. The Chimpanzee's Rare Heartbone After hearing about all these similarities, you might be wondering what the differences are between chimpanzees and humans. Although we know that chimpanzees share a surprising amount of physical similarities to humans, exciting new research conducted by experts at the University of Nottingham's School of Veterinary Medicine and Science found that some chimpanzees have a rare bone in their heart called the os cordis, which has not yet been seen in humans. The tiny os cordis heart bones, which only measured a few millimeters in size, were found in chimps with idiopathic myocardial fibrosis, a type of heart disease that is found in humans as well. Myocardial fibrosis is the most common heart disease found in chimpanzees and has been connected to the occurrence of sudden death and cardiac arrhythmias. This heart bone is a very rare find and is only seen in a small number of animal species, like bovines, cattle, ox and buffalo, and is often much larger, so that butchers are forced to remove them with sharp knives and a lot of difficulty. It's also sometimes seen in sheep, otters, dogs and camels too. It was not until June 2020 that this tiny heart bone was found in a number of chimpanzees. There are several theories as to what causes for this bone to exist and grow within the body. It might exist to support the heart valves, develop due to heart disease or even alter the electrical systems that occur within hearts. Researchers explained that this discovery is even more interesting because of how similar the anatomy of chimpanzees is to humans. It raises the question as to whether humans also might have this tiny heart bone and whether it affects us the same way it does the chimps. The astonishing find was made possible due to an advanced imaging method called microcomputed tomography, which allowed for the chimp hearts to be examined at higher magnifications than could be accomplished at a standard veterinary hospital scan. This discovery is considered vital in managing their health and the move to save the chimps. Because wild chimpanzees are endangered and often experience cardiovascular diseases, Understanding their hearts is essential in the work of medical advancement and the preservation and conservation of their species. But what do you make of these new chimp discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.